definitely had to start this shit over because the nipple definitely was popping out and um <laughs> you know nips lips are definitely a common factor in this especially in the season that we in i just can't have my nipples all on me too i mean i wouldn't mind if niggas was paying for it but uh <laughs> nah that ain't for everybody How y'all feeling out there? I mean, I know we talked about casket shark. We talked about um, preparing our coffins for the scorpion season. Uh, Jupiter and Sag. Jupiter and Sagittarius. Are y'all ready for this liftoff? Leo. The North Node switching from Leo, Aquarius to Cancer, Capricorn, Chiron. Chiron, Aries, Pisces, back and forth, tumble of the, the, uh, the back and forth energy of the fire and water and focusing on the self and then going back into focusing on the universe and you know what the universe and what we need and all of that good shit it's coming right it's happening everything is happening I mean, whether you like that shit whether you whether you ready for that shit or not like something you can do it's coming to check it's coming to revitalize. Yeah, boo. It's coming. Jupiter and Sagittarius is coming. It is. It's about to blow your fucking mind. Okay? Jupiter and Sagittarius is about to blow everybody's mind. You thought it was a party? Just wait. Just wait. November, December... In the November, December hit, we in for a ride, baby. We in for a ride. Third house energy. Ah, ruled by uh, Gemini. Your potential to learn something in your local neighborhood. So, I mean, you're talking about, you know, people that haven't connected. Um, will be connecting, whether that's through... Um, you'll see web, you know, through the web communication, you know, people online, like chat rooms. I don't even think we have forums anymore, but if people have forums, Facebook groups, people connecting and standing, yo, I want to see you, you out in, uh, you overseas in Japan, you know, it's good. Like I'm about to be out there, like, you know, in a couple months, can I stay or, or you know, can I come parlay with you? Can you show me around your place, your city, your town? It's coming up. Even if it's not long-term travel or long-distance travel, short-term travel. A lot, you're going to see a lot of people traveling in these next couple of weeks. The energy is, if and if they're not traveling right now, but trust and believe they are preparing to do so. You know what I'm saying? Um, the North Node in Leo. Energy switching from the Leo Aquarius to the Cancerian, um, Cancerian Capricorn, and it's like going from okay, what do I really need? What do I really want? What do I really like? What is my heart like? Really tell me is best for myself. Um, having revelations about that, like, am I doing this for? The people, or am I doing this for what really is going to make my soul rock? You know what I'm saying? That kind of energy, you know, and moving into the <laughs> Oh, God. This, this year is about to be interesting. I'm not going to get too deep into it in this video, but, hey, it is <laughs> what it is. Chiron and Pisces, a lot of deep-seated energy, you know, transmitting that into something so powerful. You know, something that's so connected. This is Scorpio season. Like, if you don't have it, 
sorry to say, like, you're going to get left. <laughs> this is, this is, Scorpio is fixed, you know what I'm saying? Scorpio is water, but it's fixed water. It's not really here to go back and forth about, it's not Pisces. It's not going to go back and forth about what could or what could be or what is or what ain't. It just is or it ain't. So, and you got time to get it, get it, get it in, get it in line, get it together. But you know, just know that, um, especially with all this fire energy, a lot of this rooted root chakra, Jupiter, Leo, Sag energy, a lot of this root chakra energy, Chiron, heart, and this third house blue throat chakra energy communicating your heart's deepest desires and going for bro with that and not falling short being confident about what you want being confident about your needs and being confident about your desires and where that could take you or where where you want to go with it you know really right now Having a, you know, writing out a, a plan. I'm not saying like detail for detail. You don't got to get Virgo about it, but visualizing like, shit, where, where do I want to be? Like, where do I see myself right now? Like, <laughs> and how is that playing out? Like, you know, a lot of um, uh, vision boards coming up, you know, a lot of um, talking to people in foreign places high places you know <laughs> regardless like let your mind like really expand in these next coming weeks especially as we move through scorpio season like let your mind expand get lost in your deepest desires and wishes and wants and needs and goals and do that and take action in those things. And I'm not saying that Scorpio season, especially as we end this Venus retrograde, Mercury retrograde coming up. Like, I'm not saying, like, now is the perfect time to do blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not saying that. But I am saying that this is the perfect time to, like, get clear. You know what I'm saying? If you if you talk about something that you want to do and it doesn't, if you, you got that, like, nah, stench in your heart and it doesn't really sit well and you kind of having to, like, do too much and overanalyzing it and talk like cut it ain't for you <laughs> but if it's like a, a subject or a topic that you can talk about for days in at a time and you just like this is it this is me you know what I mean like this this is truly what I love this is truly like what makes my heart sing undeniably without question then go with that shit stop being a little punk like <laughs> real dog stop being a punk about it and just do it no more researching no more fig trying to figure it out no more you know sitting in in the in the lab take take what you got out the lab and go for it Saturn's in Capricorn, you know, build that foundation, build that foundation, you know, get through what you need to get, get learn the lesson of Chiron, you know, clear that shit out, get focused, get focused on what you need, your desires and what you want, and roll with it, regardless of what anybody else talking about, like, just go with it and see where it takes you. And um, I think that's all I got got to got to really spit for this one, for this uh, this weekly astrology report. Like, you either gonna be with it or you not. Like, I mean, <laughs> figure out what you wanna do. forward to seeing y'all next week. Rainstorm checking in. Rainstorm checking out. And um, forward to seeing y'all next week. Peace. <laughs>